This is Josh Soy from the Ridge Tool Company and this is part number seven of the CS1000 training series. This video covers uh, exporting the reports and jobs that you have recorded with the CS1000. Uh, this is a very important video to go over because it uh, dictates how you're going to be handing your video off to a customer or your reports off to a customer. Now, uh, on the screen right now, let's go ahead and start a new job just as an example. I went and took a snapshot and you'll see that our job number incremented up to number five. Now this is probably the easiest and fastest way to record if you don't want to fill out any information in the report. Uh, you can actually record it, pop a thumb drive in, and export it. So I'm going to show you the simplest way. Um, I went and just plugged a thumb drive in. You can plug any size of thumb drive in there. It'll automatically recognize it and bring up the export screen. Uh, and I actually have some upgrade software on there, so it's asking me if I want to upgrade. For this, we want to go ahead and export the job. And it's going to tell you that the job is currently open. You'll notice I didn't close that job. I just took a snapshot, and you can still see that it's recording. So we'll go ahead and close that job. <clears throat> And once that's closed, it's going to bring you up this, to this screen. And I'll show the one job that I just recorded at 4.45. I'm going to uncheck the other two jobs. And the reason that those two were checked is because I haven't exported those jobs yet. The two at the bottom with the office floor and the random picture, I've already exported that those so the CS1000 remembers. And uh, it won't automatically assume that I want to export those. For this one though, I just wanted to export the very top one, and you can go ahead and export that. The second, there's two options over on the right side. One allows you to export a customer report that you can hand to them right on the job site, and it's going to be formatted in HTML so they can open it with any browser. And uh, that one is the second option down there, the one I have highlighted. So if I go ahead and click that, It'll give you a little status screen. It'll tell you which jobs are being exported, and it'll tell you what files it's transferring at that moment. So you can see here that the copy is complete, so I'll say OK. And it's going to ask you if you want to recycle the copied jobs. For this one, I'll go ahead and say, yes, I do want to recycle it. That's like throwing it in the trash bin. Um, not completely deleting it off of your hard drive, but it's not in your your current set of jobs that you're working on. So I'm going to pull my thumb drive out. That has that new job on there. The customer can go and open that up whenever he wants and look at it in a browser. Now I'm going to go into some more details here on how to export. We're going to go ahead and put my thumb drive back in again. Sorry, it's attached to my keys so it makes a lot of noise. And it'll bring that same screen up where it's going to ask if you want to export the jobs or start a new USB job. I'll describe starting a new USB job a little bit later. But it's going to take us back into our report browser. Now you see over on the far right that there's no options uh, because we don't have any of the jobs uh, selected right now. You can go along the top here and you can sort by job name or by customer name to make it a little bit easier to look through your jobs if you have a lot of them on the CS1000. Now let's go ahead and, ahead and export the office floor. Once I check that, it will bring up a bunch of options over on the right side. Also, I can go over here and check multiple jobs and have those all exported at the same time. Now last time we went and exported this to a customer report. This time we're going to export it to a HQ report. Now the difference is that the HQ report is not easy for a customer to read but it has a extra information for CSnake HQ to be able to import all of it in there. So if you're going to use CSnake HQ to burn DVDs, upload to connect, um, or do printed reports, you're going to want to export with that top there. If you want to just hand them directly to the customer, you're going to want to use the second option down. <clears throat> so for the H HQ option, we'll go ahead and click on it. It'll bring up that same status screen that we saw before when I was exporting. This one actually had some video files in it. You can see while it's recording there. And then the copy is complete. 
<clears throat> we'll go ahead and hit OK. It's going to ask if we want to recycle it. I'm going to say cancel because I want to keep that in my current job. So I might want to add some more information into that. And then it takes you back to the screen. You can pull out your thumb drive and then you're all set to go there. Now one thing that I did want to cover here was the recycling bin and how that works. Since it's not throwing that information away totally, it's still going to count against your, uh, your disk space on there because it's still keeping those jobs on there. If you want to completely delete that information, we're going to hit our menu key from the main screen here. And then we go into our settings. If we scroll over to the right side, we can go into our recycling bin. Once we get in the recycling bin, you'll see this job that we recorded at 445. If we wanted to, we can go ahead and click on it to see what's in it, but I already know. If we click on that, we have two options. We could take it out of the recycling bin, like if we threw it in the trash can and, and didn't mean to, you can take it back into your current jobs. Or the second option down is to permanently delete it. So we'll go ahead and permanently delete it, ask you, are you sure you want to do this? Then you go ahead and hit that and it will permanently delete it. All right, the last thing I'm going to show you how to do, and we went over this in the settings video a little bit, but this is actual application of it. If you wanted to record a job directly to USB thumb drive, um, before you start a job, what you would do is plug your thumb drive in. It's going to automatically detect that you put the thumb drive in there. And then we get our little, little familiar menu coming up here. And you can start a USB job. What that's going to do, and it's going to keep a little indicator in the lower right hand screen there that tells you that this is recording directly to a thumb drive. So when I take snapshots and I take video, it's putting it directly on the thumb drive, but not the hard drive. Now the nice part about this is it's very quick and efficient. There's no transfer time like when we were waiting to, to move them off to the thumb drive from our report tool. But the disadvantage of it is you don't have multiple copies. It's just like burning a DVD or something like that. So there's a lot of cool ways that you can export information from the CS1000. And uh, in future videos, I'm going to go over how you import them into HQ. And then you can even move them up onto the web to share with customers in Rigid Connect. For more information on the full line of Rigid products, visit the Rigid Forum at www.rigidforum.com. Here you'll find over 30,000 industry professionals who give reviews, answer questions, discuss tips and tricks, and just general information. If you scroll down, you'll find a section called Rigid Central, where all the products that have been launched in the last two years have a specific section where you can go in there and find information and discuss the products and even ask questions to the Rigid staff.